Hundreds of asylum seekers are protesting living conditions they say they've faced at the Portland Expo shelter. Good evening, everyone. I'm Amanda Hill. And I'm Brian Yacono. Families at the Expo are also asking some difficult questions now about where they are supposed to go when that shelter closes. That's set to happen before the end of the summer. New Center Maine's Jack Molmid has more. We need your help! We need your involvement! Frustration. Je viens de fuir en Afrique la souffrance. Arrivé ici, je continue toujours la souffrance. Je veux la solution. Ça ne marche pas bien ici. Ça ne marche pas bien. And anger, because when you leave a country torn apart by war and you come to ours, you hear that there is no space for you. I don't know how to explain. It's it's very bad. Johnny Francisco is just 18 years old and moved here from the Democratic Republic of the Congo. He says he's staying at the Portland Expo with his sister and mother. And here we are sleeping in bad conditions. They're giving us very food. Complaints of poor living conditions and no answers as to where they will go once mid-August hits, when the city and venue will no longer allow them to stay here. We are having a bad time. The people who work inside don't respect us. There is no food, nowhere to sleep, and we are having a bad time. Toto Capitan is from Angola. He speaks French and says the protest started as word spread the shelter was shutting down. They told us we had to leave this place on August 16th and go where? There is no place else for us to sleep at. We don't have uh, solutions right now. We are working to try to find them. City staff, Department of Health and Human Services Director Kristen Dow and Mayor Kate Snyder say they listen to asylum seekers about their complaints. It's taken us a while to get Get here with the situation that we have in the city and the state, so it's going to take us a little while uh, to figure it out. As Portland's housing crisis for everybody, including asylum seekers, boils over, the city approved a new asylum seeker shelter. There's just one problem. That uh, right now is slated for single, uh, single asylum seekers. So um, at this point, no, these are all families that are here. Nowhere for them to go, and for the young new Mainers here. Of course, I'm worried because I have a sick mother. I have a little sister. We have a child here, and this is not conditions for people. In Portland, Jack Mulmud, News Center, Maine. City staff tell us they will try to work on immediate complaints like those about the food in the coming weeks. They estimate about 270 people are currently staying at the expo.